Hi, my name is Hannah Judd and I'm the mother of 12 children and I'm going to share one more tip about preparing toddlers for a new baby brother or sister. One of the things that helps is if you have a young toddler who's like a year and a half, two years old, who's been your baby for a long time, one thing that really helps out is when you're in your third trimester and you're starting to get big is that you stop carrying your toddler around and and so instead start saying oh no you gotta walk you gotta walk and the reason why that's so helpful is because I noticed that if you have a, a toddler that you've been carrying around carrying around and you suddenly have a newborn baby you can't carry them around for the first first at least the first couple weeks after having a baby or your bleeding will like really start up again. You're not supposed to carry uh, anything heavier than the newborn baby right after you have a baby. Anyway, unfortunately, when if you have a very young toddler and all of a sudden you stop carrying them, but you're carrying around this new baby, they go, well, mom doesn't love me anymore. And they interpret it, they notice it, but they interpret it incorrectly. And so what I found is that if during your third trimester, if you have a young toddler, if you start having them, if you stop carrying them around before the baby's born and start saying, no, you hold my hand, no, you're gonna walk, you're gonna walk. And you stop picking them up and carrying them around. When the new baby's born, they don't, their feelings don't get as hurt. They don't get jealous because it's not, you can still, you know, have them on your lap and read them a story, but you're not picking them up and carrying them around places. And so anyway, you don't have that miscommunication between you and the toddler if you prepare for it before the baby's born. The other thing that really helps is if you, if it, especially with your first and your second, when you only had one baby, the concept of, oh, mom can't love me if she has other children, or I used to be, you know, it, and mom and dad just loved me. One thing that really helps out with that relationship, and I learned this from a lady who had six children. She helped me out with this because I was having a real hard time. My uh, my oldest was, her feelings were really hurt when the second baby was born, and 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 her enthusiasm quickly turned into, I don't like that baby. And it stole my mom from me. And, and she was out to get him <laughs> for a while. And so this mom, her, her name was Ann Everett. She helped me out with that. Um, she said, well, what works is to put the baby in another room somewhere and spend 15 minutes a, a, a day with your toddler. Just you and your toddler. 15 minutes. That's it. And so... I tried it out and it was miraculous. All of a sudden my relationship with my toddler improved and she started being kind to the baby again. And so, because she knew, okay, mom still loves me and I still have a special place with mom. And it was only 15 minutes a day. I really didn't have any more time or any, any more energy at that, that time, but it made a huge difference. So I would just take her outside and paint her nails or draw a picture with her or do a, Cook, like cooking, I had to cook dinner anyway. I put the baby away and let her help me out. And it was amazing. It made a huge difference in how she felt and, and how she felt towards the baby.